What's up, Ari gang? Welcome back to the channel. Ari here. Today, my video is a little bit different. If you guys are subscribed to me, you will know that a few months ago, I started a mobile home living series. I did a lot of videos on that. I was going to start a new channel, but you guys, I really do not have the time. I actually started the channel, and some of you may be subscribed there, but I don't have the time to just even do the channel I have because I work a full-time job that's very physically demanding and I just can't do it so right now I'm just gonna be uploading all of my videos to this channel so if you like if you only want to see these videos YouTube will know that you only want to see these videos and all your notifications just put for you I think if you click down you put all videos you want to see everything from me or if you want to see the ones just for you so that way you can get the videos that you want to see but this video, a lot of people wanted to see a mobile home tour. They were curious about our home. I don't do a full mobile home tour in this video, you guys, because um, my husband's room, his, his room is private. He has some things for, like, he's doing music that he may not want out like that. Um, and also, um, I don't think I did the master bathroom and um i believe that's it those two rooms i didn't do but the rest of the home i'd already done some videos on a couple of rooms so i just kind of put those in here so you'll kind of get a little tour of our mobile home living now i also want to preface this by saying we are still looking but you guys the prices of these homes have doubled our same home now that we purchased for under 80000 the same exact home this year after the pandemic is 150 something thousand. It's crazy. And we want actually more room. And you'll see in the videos why I say we want more room and some things we want to change, some things that we want to do. But it may be easier for us to just make those changes and add on and pay this home off instead of getting a bigger home you know when actually what is the value what's the value is the value the same or is it just inflation so that's one thing you have to think about um i wanted to share that with you before we get started on this home tour um i still want to do whatever renovations we do whatever work we'll do i'll start dropping more videos of that here so you guys can see because my husband has built a deck he's built a porch we're thinking about getting a storm, a storm shelter. We're start thinking about redoing a lot of stuff. So I'll just incorporate all of that here, you guys. And if you're interested in those videos, because I have a lifestyle beauty channel, come over and watch everything. If you like everything, that's what I would love for you to do. But if you only want to watch certain things, you can personalize it for yourself. Where you can only see the videos you want to see. If you only like perfume, hygiene, you know, hair, whatever. You can personalize it for yourself. Well, you can only get those videos so you guys let's go ahead and get into this tour so this is the entryway to our bougie farmhouse style home <laughs> okay you guys this is a farmhouse style yes as you can see the the wood paneling on the back wall but i like a little bit more dressy so this is what i did there's actually a mirror that goes to that table but i decided to swap it out at the last minute this is our master bedroom. This room is pretty big. I don't know if you can tell from just the looking, but it's a big size bedroom. That is our ceiling fan. I love that, I have to have it. But to be honest, this is how the house has been decorated since we moved in in 2019. It's now 2023 because we knew this is not what we wanted to keep. We didn't know we were going to look for something else, redo our bedroom, or redo um, the whole home. We definitely want a large closet added to this room. Um, we've got some things we want to change around, so we're still not sure yet. We're still looking but um, I do love the sheetrock. We don't like the dark molding on the edges. We don't like that. There's certain things we just don't like. We don't like the carpet on the floor. Um, there's some things we just want to redo to make it more livable. So that's why we're still deciding. We're still touring homes. But as we're speaking right now, it's cheaper 
just to go ahead and pay this off and make it into the home we want this is our living room you guys like I said it's farmhouse style we do have a lot of dark colors, so I try to accentuate with light colors that's why I have the cream and the white curtains you know it does have the cream walls um, we already had this chocolate furniture so it just kind of blended but I did not want the darkness we don't really like the dark floors there's a lot we would want to change um, this is just a small sitting area and this is the living room dining room area this is the dining room kitchen area we have a small small kitchen you guys it's super small we need more cabinet space um yeah just not really sure what we're going to do at the moment but yeah that's our kitchen that's the extent of it we love it now it's big enough for us it's not like we need a whole lot of space but it is rather small we would like more cabinetry area and this is the view from the kitchen into the living room our living room is big it's got a lot of space in it all right i'm always changing it around this is just what it looks like today so this is a clip from me redecorating our guest bathroom i changed this up a lot too you guys this is still up right now in the guest bathroom um but i switch it out according to the season this is just a clip from when i was showing it in a video uh it's a nice size bathroom it's pretty big um like i said we're not crazy about the countertops the dark paneling the dark mirrors anything like that we want all light so that's where we're thinking about just switching some things around changing we're definitely going to be painting changing the walls changing the um molding that's a definite we're going to be changing the flooring as well and that's if we decide that we're going to go ahead and just keep this house in just you know remodel it just change it up to what we like we would still like some more space uh, we might still add on we're not really sure yet you guys uh, because this market the housing market is so crazy right now when I tell you that we save so much money by getting the home when we did because like I said this house right here that we have now is double the price it's double the price of what we paid for it and I feel like that's just ridiculous I really do now we're looking for something bigger a little bit larger than what we have and we feel like we just should have got a bigger one in the first place and we would have been good you know what I'm saying so um, yeah there's some things we don't like the house the home is nice I just don't like the countertops and the dark colors pretty much we just want to change the coloring it won't take much to do that it really won't we could really save a lot of money by just adding on remodeling and redoing our walls now this is my film room you guys uh, this is a clip from a video where I um, redid my film room so this is it it's changed a little bit my perfume shelf has gotten a whole lot fuller <laughs> but um, yeah that's the chair where I sit sometimes I film there um, just have different angles in the room and this is it it's a nice size room it's not <clears throat> very big but it's big enough for me to do what I need to do and I love it I love it so yeah just letting you guys tour I'm not showing the home the whole home I'm not showing the master bath at the moment. I'm not showing uh, my husband's film room. Or the laundry room right now. Because, yeah, I need to, to clean the laundry room up a little bit more. But, yeah, you guys. So, that's pretty much the tour. We have a three-bedroom, two-bath home. Um, I don't know how many square feet it was. But when we purchased our home, it was under 80000 now the same home is a hundred fifty four thousand just to show you ever since the pandemic what has happened 
to these prices is ridiculous but um you know i think it's still a good option a good way to go if you're um wanting to save money you still will save money um in regards to just buying a, a manufactured home then building one from the ground up although you just have to you know price and budget so that's it for our home tour you guys it's nothing spectacular but it fits us we actually want more space so we're still deciding on what we're going to be doing i still have a lot of videos that i have made for home tours that i will be putting out to show you guys in case it's something that you want to see if you like those videos you like us touring homes if you want to see more drop me a comment down below so i'll know to do more of those videos just let me know um because we still are hunting but we haven't found the exact everything we need for the right price it's got to be perfect or we'll just make it make do with what we have and add on that way and i'll still show you guys what we're doing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave me some comments down below check your notifications if you know you're a man and you don't want to watch perfume you can just get these videos okay hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i'll see you in the next one take care